morning, everyone, and happy Friday Eve. We are starting to see some of that rain moving into the area this morning. Rain amounts have been fairly light here in the metro area, but you can see Highway 26 getting some light showers up towards uh, towards uh, Hillsborough. Some light showers down towards Newburgh, even McMinnville. And as we go ahead and extend down towards the South Salem, you've been seeing some of that light rain this morning, but a heavier batch moving in towards Dallas. And this is progressing towards the east, northeast of so Salem. You're going to get some moderate showers coming into your area very soon. And we've been seeing the heavier rain out towards uh, Lincoln City right now. And that's going to continue off and on throughout the daytime, especially up towards our north, where we have been getting some heavy rainfall moving in towards the Astoria area this morning, also up towards uh, Ocean Park. So all this is going to be pushing towards the east, Northeast, so between Chehalis and Longview, looks like you're going to be wet in the next uh, couple of hours. That's for sure. Out east, it's not looking too bad. In fact, some high clouds starting to move in. These clouds will thicken as the day goes on, and we'll continue to see the chance for your showers coming in by late afternoon. So here's the forecast for today as we plan your day out. We will have a south wind up to around 15 to 20 miles per hour with showers from time to time. And as we get to the afternoon hours, I do think it's going to become more of a steady rainfall event with your highs today right around 60 degrees. So Rain amounts today in the valley about a quarter of an inch or so. The coast seeing a little bit more about a half of an inch. Now tomorrow we'll have a cooler day and we do have the chance of maybe a thunder shower coming in and some small hail with some of the heavier downpours. But getting into the weekend looking great for Mother's Day and next week we warm up into the low to mid 80s. In fact, here's your forecast for Mother's Day. Partly cloudy skies, 69 degrees. Might have a little bit of patchy fog there in the morning, but a great day to get outdoors, do brunch with mom and maybe even plant some flowers outside. Here's a look at the big picture. We had this upper level low that's still up towards our north and west. And what we're getting right now is the warm front that's getting close to us. So that's where we're seeing this beginning rain. And we'll continue to see the rainfall as that cold front starts to progress toward our area. And as that upper level low closes in tomorrow, that's why we have the chance of seeing maybe a few isolated thunder showers. So as we go ahead and plan your day out here, 7 o'clock, we will be wet at times. The snow level right around 7,000 feet. Now for tomorrow, snow levels start to drop a bit. And we'll see showers continuing here along the coast and in the valley. And actually statewide, you can see wet at times for your Friday with a few heavier downpours coming in by late afternoon. And again, maybe an isolated thunder shower. Saturday is going to be more of our transition day. I think we're going to have some sun breaks in there and some showers. So I think we'll see uh, some rainbows in the area on Saturday. Here's a look at your forecast statewide today. Upper 50s along the coast with winds up to around 30 miles per hour. Showers in the valley and east of the mountains. You'll see showers spreading into your area with temperatures between about 58 and 62 degrees. 63 for Cascade Locks and Government Camp Rain will be likely today right around 55. The whole media metro area expect temp temperatures today in the lower 60s. And some again, the downpours in the afternoon could be uh, moderate at times. 62 for you up towards Gresham with a low near 48 in Vancouver. About the same 